Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, Chief? Sorry, I am so Chief, sorry. I that said sounds Chief. like a little bit of cultural appropriation from you, Joe. Oh, is that? Love starting the episode with that. No. Absolutely do. I wasn't trying to appropriate. We also, I think the last episode we ended, or last weekly, welcome back, by the way, uh, we like were in awe that like how much like just like straight up just like cultural appropriation and just like insensitivity we showed in elementary school to like Native Americans and First Nation people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it was just like, all right, kids, give me your best Indian chant. And yeah. Then there were fucking one, not Indians. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> and two, not don't chant. Don't 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 do that. Don't stuff. make the children chant. I love how like the new way of doing that is everyone now doing like the whole like, oh my god, like fucking you know, eagles are my spirit animal. What? <laughs> Never heard that? I've heard spirit animal. Yeah. I think that was like of and I'm not gonna sit here and name a bunch of Do you have one? I, I don't I think the point of this conversation is I don't think I am at liberty to say. Well, I, whenever someone like asks me that, they're like, "What's your spirit animal?" I go, "I've never thought about that." Yeah, I'm I, a human being. I can't tell you how many fucking like so cool like pick me sorority girls I knew in college. Eagle. That no, they would just be like sloth because I can just lay around all day and fucking eat food and watch TV, and it's like. So cool, you're going to be alone forever. Also, a sloth has never watched TV. <laughs> I will argue that they've never seen a screen. No, there's definitely TV. I mean, maybe not in the wilderness. Show a sloth the TV, and they're just going to fucking freak Honestly, out. Honestly, speaking of animals, I went to the zoo. Did I tell you that? You did. We talked about it on the Patreon episode, which you can find now. Patreon, like, I forgot about animals. that. Uh, but You forgot about our Patreon. I forgot that I had this conversation with gotcha. you. Gotcha. You know. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, when we were... In kindergarten, we were impersonating yeah. Native Americans. Oh, kindergarten up to like third, fourth, fifth, twelfth grade, probably. We're coming. Around, we're starting to come around. Well, actually, a bit. yeah, I was done with my school career before there was like any sort of inclination of like mm, probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I think it was around the time we turned like twenty, twenty one. That's when. That's when it became like no, dude, way later than that. Think not so? way, not way. I would say around like twenty one, twenty two is when like the the massive majority started saying like, "There's some stuff." A, let's take a look back at the yeah, things yeah, you said and stuff. done. Because like you watch like movies from like two thousand nine, two thousand ten, and there's still some wild stuff out there. Yeah, I was watching uh, uh, the Hangover maybe like a year ago, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is a timeless comedy. Like this is still gonna hold up in thirty years." And then like the second scene, it's like Bradley Cooper screaming, p "Paging doctor." I remember, yes. You know, there's a there's a derogatory term for of gay people there in there. But how far we've come. And we've all we all laughed in the movie the, theater. The, the the you know, the woke mindset is uh, taking over. Yeah. Uh but I actually I'm I wanted to open I, up. I watched The Bronx Tale by the way yesterday. A lot of N-words in that. Also, not filmed in the Bronx. Filmed in Queens. Astoria and all the school scenes in Frankie's high school. What's up, baby? William Cullen Bryan High School. In that I don't know why you, you always do I that. I always do Wakanda Forever. I think it's just a sense of unity. Cool. Which I shouldn't be doing. Back to that cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I wanted to start off and ask you a question because I've started you, – you know how I get. I get existential crises all the time. And crises? Yeah. And the, Is that the plural? Of a crisis? Yes. Crises. No. That's not right. No, it's crises. Chrysler. No, Joey. I'm having fun. I hope you are because you sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, the I was talking. I did. Uh, uh, you're still laughing at yourself, huh? Uh, all right. Uh, I did uh, the a podcast with uh, our buddy uh, Jimmy from John Boy Media. Yeah. And we both like connected over the freaking out that we experience over the passage of time. Uh huh. And I. It's kind of crazy to me. Like, I have such vivid memories of, like, our fucking teenage years, childhood, early adulthood. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's gone. Yeah, and it's then gone. I, I, it's gone. Gone. Completely. Yeah. Um, and we also were lucky enough to live in a time where we didn't document every minute of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, to the kids nowadays... Might be a little scared when you have to answer for your that digital footprint, that, baby. <laughs> it's coming. Don't <laughs> get us wrong. We have one too, but ours is like a fucking a locust compared to your T Rex foot. Okay, 
a locust. First animal I thought of. I gotta be honest <laughs> with you. Aren't they like big, kind of? Not bigger than a T Rex. I'm aware of that. <laughs> They're fucking big bugs. But the question I had is, when did you first like start liking girls? But not like liking girls, just like oh, cute, like crush, like. It was like a oh this is a like a girlfriend. I want to date them and kiss. Yeah, them. like I want to hold their hand. I want to kiss their cheek, kiss their mouth, kiss their cheek. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it was. You know, it, it was big cheek kisser back in the day. When was when did you start like having that realization that like oh I can I can be a like a boyfriend? You're asking me when did I choose to be straight because it's a choice? Is that what you're asking me, dude? Boy, you're bringing that up. Ah, right, you know what? <laughs> Will this be released? Oh, after it is Pride Month. I was going to say, will this episode be released <laughs> oh, in the no, pr- say, public yeah. <laughs> after Pride Month ends? Because yeah, no. then go nuts. It's such a choice. Yeah. No, I mean, that was a joke. Uh, <laughs> Make sure, good, you good. know, it's not a joke. One time I had to explain that to a person. Oh, I. <laughs> that is not a choice. I recently had I was like, to explain. When did you choose to be straight? I didn't. Boom. Yeah. Went, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's how the conversation went. I recently had, and I went the other route. I went, so you believe that people are choosing to be oppressed and ridiculed there and yeah. possibly murdered? Nonetheless. Anyway. Um, what, a, what a time. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, when did I choose? When, <laughs> when did I start liking girls? Um, well, I remember in pre-K, I liked that girl, Alexa, but I don't remember wanting to like kiss her. I was probably terrified of that, but I was like, I like Damn, her. you're dropping names here, huh? Dude, it's a random name. That's like a common name. Yeah. And that girl, Jackie, too. That's right. Those were the girls that would chase Joey. No. They did. Joey, Joey, don't try to rewrite history, bitch. No. Alexa was the one because she, she wrote me Damn, a note. She was another one, the one. The one of one, one of the ones. One of the ones. But she wrote me a note and my mom found it. Oh. <gasps> Years later, I was oh, like, "Oh, but your mom was like a hippie. She was probably like so cool about it, dude." I'm talking about she kept everything, and when I was like 23, she, I was, we were like going through stuff, and she found a note that Alexa wrote me. And at the end, it said, "I love you." Boom! Boom. Loved your boy. Lo- was it written like stupid pre-K right where it's just it, like, yes. "I love you." What? <laughs> How would anything be written like that? You know, just like big ass letters. It was, and, and it's like, you and know, the I, it was a, it wasn't a dot. It, it was, was a, it was, it was just a heart. A, just so heart love you. Yeah, she didn't even say I love you. Heart love you. Her heart. Someone's heart. Are you an idiot? I'm talking <laughs> about the I, the dot in the I. Oh, the tittle. Whatever. That's what it's called, bitch. I understand. Okay, but like that, it's it was like I love you. Kind of nice. It was nice. It was kind of cool. But yeah, I don't remember wanting to like kiss her. Do you know how mortified I would be if my mom said I kept your childhood love letters? Do you know how fucking stupid they were, <laughs> bro? I like a couple. <laughs> I a couple years ago found I like had gotten access to. Remember when like AIM had <laughs> gotten access? Yeah, I had hacked the mainframe. No. Got access when AOL and AIM like completely like wiped all their shit. First of all, thank God. Wait, that happened? Yeah. I, in like 2015, had gotten access to like an old email of mine, and it was like one of them that was a screen names, and I was able to see, I had saved conversations, a whole fucking AIM conversation with, I'm not gonna, all right, Jamie, <gasps> and I, but I was using her as a conduit to talk to somebody else. Wait, what, did, what are you, wait, what are you saying? I was using her, like talking to her about someone else, oh. knowing that it would get back to that person. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And just the did sh- Jamie know that, or you were just doing this whole mind control thing? Uh, first of all, I stopped painting. <laughs> she didn't me, know, did stop she? Stop painting me to be some. <laughs> but fucking she didn't know. Bundy esque psychopath. But she didn't know. She I, wasn't in on it. She was a smart woman. <laughs> <laughs> she was a smart woman. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure she so knew. It was one of her friends, and you were just like, "Yeah, I think I kind of like her." No, you I knew didn't that it that. would get back. To I her. didn't do that. I remember the conversation was something along the lines of like. Like me being like, you know, like uh, it was like an argument that the girl and I had had. And I was like painting her as like not being ready for a serious relationship. Wow. Okay. And like so. where I was in my life, I was super ready. Right. So gaslighting. Go ahead. <laughs> You're gaslighting <laughs> via no, a conduit. No, 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 Joey. Yeah. We, we all know, although you know exactly what gaslighting is. You're I in, do. You're <laughs> incorrect. Here. Literally. You are you incorrect. Here. I tried to make her no, think. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. But I remember one of the lines that I had said verbatim. Oh, my God. It was just like, 
I've, I swear, and I think I've, I've mentioned this on the show before, <laughs> was like, I've been skydiving before and I've looked a rabid raccoon in the face. I'm not afraid of a real relationship. You've done neither of those things. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? You just get so dramatic. <laughs> How do you remember that? I, cause I, Yo, earlier he just said he's like remembers these things. Like this is what Frankie does all the time, and that's why sometimes we retell certain stories because I don't. They don't Joey's, stick. Joey's memory is like his fucking bank account, too big to remember. He uh, fucking. That would be the opposite. If I had a big <laughs> no, memory, you stupid bitch. I'm really sorry, uh, but. <laughs> I've been skydiving. Uh, nope. And I can remember. And Easy I, fact check to know you haven't been. Well, there. I, hold on. I remember. I have gone on like one of those like sky coaster things that they had at like Six Flags. Oh, not skydiving. Not skydiving. <laughs> and I have seen a raccoon. <laughs> so, so at the time I was not lying per se, but I was just. Wait, do you remember her? What she said? It was. I. I. It. From what I remember, she was. Fairly in agreement with what I was saying. She was like, "Wow, this kid means it. This it means business. Means fucking big fat business." Who who is the girl? I'm not gonna sit here and start dropping names, Joe. <sighs> the the one that has disappeared. Gotcha. You know now. Yeah, this girl uh, that Frankie dated long ago. In the wind. <laughs> might be. Yeah. Uh, we might talk about where she might be later on in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. But. but uh, but I, I like, if my mom had found some of those notes and those letters, I would be mortified. I mean, bro, that's different. You were a little older. I was in fucking pre-K. We were saying bullshit to each other. Yeah, but you never know. If she found, like, notes that I was writing to Jamie in, like, fifth grade, then I I'd mean, be but like, that, bro. But you were a fucking little prude. You were just like, I love you the way I love fucking Clyde Drexler, you fucking loser. <laughs> Clyde Drexler? That's what you would have wrote. You'd be like, Clyde I Drexler? How old do you think we are? <laughs> He was out of the league, bro. Yeah, but you always said that you picked number 22 because of Clyde the Glide, baby. Don't think I fucking forgot Joe Mudd. All right? You stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, wait. We did this already. But I found... You remember when we brought shit in one day and we went through it? Mm-hmm. I found the thing again because it was. I was like, whatever. It was on a bookcase. And there was like this like thing that said... There was like prompts. It said like, I wonder. I am. I this. And it said, I wonder. And I wrote, when I will die. Yeah, I remember like, that. It's super morbid. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I my first time like liking a girl like past like a crush. I think mine was first grade. Yeah, I think mine was like second grade. Yeah. And like it just like when was your first like real girlfriend? Like to the point where like sixth grade? Okay. Like si oh that's right. I I remember who it was. Yeah. Are you are you okay? You still not broken up about that? I told you I saw her years later. No. Well, I saw her my sophomore year of high school because a kid on my team was dating her best friend at the time or something. Okay. And it was like the first uh, game of the season. And I, this is when I tore my meniscus, so mm -hmm. I wasn't playing. And then when I was walking back, they were like right next to me. So we like talked, like me, her, and her friend. And she was dating my friend, was Andrew. Still... Oh, I remember Andrew. Yeah. I don't, I don't, what? He was friends with Lawrence. Not him. Oh, another Andrew? No, yeah. Oh. I didn't go to high school with that kid. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, no. Uh, but yeah, so I was, so whatever. And then I ran into her, a co like, probably like six years after that, too. She was working at this place that I walked into. And I was like, hey. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And then, like, did you ever have, because it's, like, always the joke where it's, like, the the girlfriend that never existed, where it's like, oh, they go to another school. Like, oh, they were from Canada. <laughs> No, I wish because that would have been less embarrassing than when I had dated that girl in sixth grade because we dated for nine months and we never kissed. Damn. Yeah, there was a lot of hugging going on. Big fat hugs. Thin hugs. Thin hugs. Yeah. <laughs> you were a little boy back then. Also, you know how we started dating? My friend Sean walked over and was like, you like her, she likes you, you guys are dating. <laughs> it was like the fishy, like officiated... The whole oh, thing. That's, uh, that's, that's out loud in class. That, that, that probably made you so uncomfortable. Big time. Yeah. I, but then I had a girlfriend. But, then, but the, the job was done for you. It was, yes. Look at that. Even back you then. You know I wasn't going to do it. Even back then you were paying for other people to do your bidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's fucking, I completely. And then, uh, 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 do you remember my like first like girlfriend? 
What grade? It was... What year was it? it was Honestly, su- no. It was the summer from fifth to sixth grade. And it was from my day camp. Oh, I didn't. I never met anyone from your day camp. Did you meet anyone? All of those stories could be fake as far as I They're know. They're not fake, Joey. That's why, that's Spider-Man why I, and Froggy. I was, and, I, well, Froggy's my dad, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Second of all, I was Spider-Man. I signed the inside of the, of the rock climbing wall, Spider-Man, my last year there. Yeah. Uh, but... Um, I guess that makes it official. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, there was, uh, there was a girl who went to the camp as me and we met through golf. It was the one year of my life I golfed and I was fucking good. Did you sleep at this camp? No, 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 no. It was a, it was just a day camp. You where, would go, where is it? It was in Roslyn, New York. It's Your mom would go pick you up every day? My mom. So the fucking good hearted woman that she was would every, she, she worked at the camp for free. So my brothers and I could go. Oh. Because it's like a, back then it was super expensive. I can only imagine what it yeah, is yeah. now. And uh, it was every day from fucking like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Damn. And she would drive, you know, to and fro every single day. And uh, the girl legitimately, my mom was friends with her mom and dad. She would go to that summer in the summers. Well, she'd go to that camp in the summers. And then for the rest of the year, would go back and live in Ireland. Oh, is this Randy? No, 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 no. She, you dated a Randy from I did, camp. I did, but specify that that was a woman's name. Make sure we <laughs> specify that. You dated a Randy yeah, from camp. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, which, when I told you about Randy, that was another joke because, yeah, obviously. Right. Uh, You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> that was the joke, yeah. <laughs> so like, oh, also, cool. you were a big fucking Austin Powers fan. And I remember you saying like, oh, Randy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> does that make you Randy? Does it make you Randy? <laughs> uh, no, but you, no one believes me about her. And we would like fucking like write like cute little Wait, messages. what was this girl's name? Nicole. I okay. can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you. It was the most Irish fucking last name. Like O'Toole. O'Toole or you know, something. <laughs> you know how, you know how they spell like the word is spelled like with an F and it's like E-O-U-G-H-O-A-N or oh, something yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Uh, but yeah, we, we, that was like my first girlfriend. I don't remember this at all. This girl. And, uh, that year. I never met her, right? No, no shot. Okay. No, there was 0%. But you had seen her maybe because at the end of the <laughs> summer we took, we went to like the beach, like her family, my family and some other people. And I had a disposable camera and I took a picture of her and I, and I put it. Oh my God. I don't know if I've ever told, I think I've told this story before. I put it. Wait, on like a, a disposable camera. A disposable camera. So you went and got it developed. Developed. Got it. And in sixth grade, I had a binder, and I put it on the sixth page from the last page in my binder. And it was, <laughs> I, I thought, why do you, why the sixth I don't, page? It, it just that's just the way it worked. And I glued it to the page and like put like hearts or whatever, and uh, I would write P six. What is P six? What's P6? No, I know what a... Yeah, I know. But what is P6? <laughs> it was page six where he would find her picture. <laughs> you wrote P6 on every... What, what do you mean? Where'd so you write it? Orchestra, so I would like write it on my page and like people in my class would be like, what's P6? And I'd be like, don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> You're such a Asshole, dude. Where else would you write this? Like, just like all over shit. It, all over or shit. Or you would only write it when someone was looking, so they would ask you about I it. Would you put, go, don't worry about uh, it. So my original tag, um, <laughs> oh my god, dude, was fax two with a dollar sign smiley face, and then I would put. <laughs> <laughs> and I would put P six, and, <laughs> and people would say, "What's P 6 and it was my you had an equation. That it was my right. long lost girlfriend in sixth grade that no one thought was real. But also, it's not page six. <laughs> it was page six from the back. I know, but that's not how pages work. <laughs> but if you were to count from the back, you would. <laughs> is my point, dude? You wouldn't count from the back. And, P uh, six. Uh, we. Would, I cannot believe you remember. Of this. course, dude. I, 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 like I said, vivid memory. We would communicate through email with like my sister's email. And she would send me emails like <laughs> that school year, like, oh, you know, I can't do an Irish accent right now. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> She'd be like, 
I, I, top of the morning. Uh, no, that's uh, not. <laughs> yeah, but she would say top of the morning. No. She was like a. She was Irish, dude. They all say that. Yeah, but they're not leprechauns. <laughs> Oh, we could be like no one. Like <laughs> I'm Irish. You're. You can say this stuff. I can't say it again. Leprechauns. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, um, you know, no, I get. That's all, Shirley. Just, just say. Just, it. just be you. Just be you in this equation. It's already fucking insane, Frankie. Stop. She would say like, oh, there's a boy in my class that likes me, and like, I'm. I. You're my boyfriend. What do I tell him? And I would be like, tell him no. He'd have to go through me. He has to go through you from Ireland? <laughs> he has to go through Fucking me. I've been skydiving. I've looked raccoons in the face. All the other bullshit. 3,500 miles away. That's unbelievable. And then she would write, like, like one time she was like, oh, I hope you're still going to like me. I have to get train tracks, meaning braces. And I, I remember the you train remember tracks. remember that shit, right? I remember, for some reason, I remember train tracks. Yes, and I, I was just like, no matter what, that is nothing to me. You is beautiful. <laughs> no? It's funny because I know that's exactly how you typed it. At that, that time. That is nothing. 100%. The funniest part of this is that it was coming from my sister's email. So she read all that. Well, yeah, I don't care about that, but her email was just like fucking like, a, a lovely J love, too lovely for lovely fuck, you know, or whatever. <laughs> little, little mama, little mama for lovely for you. Yeah. Oh man. What My fucking... sister's screen name was little sexy, little spelled L I D D L E. Mine's was, I think it was like J boo. And then it was switched to like too lovely, too lovely boo. Yeah. Did I ever tell you my sister was almost in a girl, like girl group, like destiny's child. Nope. Yeah. I think their name was something like, Ecstasy, but it was just with a big X. Ecstasy. <laughs> I, swear to God, I might be butchering the name here. That's not. Isn't that the name of the condom? Like an ecstasy condom or something. Well, that's a that's a name of a fucking party drug too, Joey. Like I, I, I'm just saying. Yeah, yes, there are. I believe there's Trojan brand. Condoms. Wait, they were singers. Yeah, because she went to a performing arts school. That's right. And it was like her and like other girls in her class, and they were in like a girl group. I don't remember. If it was called ecstasy or like fucking like two temptation or something like that, like heroin or some other <laughs> drug, <laughs> they were called cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah. So I was just like, God damn, P six. Oh my god, it's almost twenty years. Why of do like, I not remember P six at all? Because we went to different schools for sixth grade. Yeah, but dude, P six. I feel I'm like sure, I would. I'm sure. I'm sure you had heard of it. I feel like I remember Randy. Was that before? Or after that was after. That was, after, that was yeah. a whole other ordeal, Joey. I don't want to get into. Yeah, please don't. I, I don't, don't want to parse that that part of my life. <laughs> We've you know, gotten through that through therapy. We've so to, <laughs> we don't have to go back through. I've cried to my wife about this enough times. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> isn't that? You would do stuff like that. I also did something like that in sixth grade. I think I told you this. Uh, when that girl broke up with me, I had a picture of her, and I lit that shit on fire. Oh, I did that in, like, late. I We've recently told this story. I did that in, like, college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I like, lit, I, like, lit it, and I threw it out my window, and it landed right in my backyard. And my mom found it, and she was like, don't fucking don't. burn shit. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. You know what I fucking hate? In movies and TV shows, when people light a match and then they fucking like throw it and it stays lit, you know how many times times I've tried that and it has never fucking worked. What? You know what I tried to do the other day? Light a match with my tooth. What? <laughs> you never seen? I thought you were gonna say the one where they like light it by snapping on it. I've tried the that. Fuck like are you talking about? Weeks ago. No, but it's like you ever see like a tough guy? It's like, oh yeah. And he lights a match. I have seen that. But and that's I'm, because those tough guys had no fucking good teeth. They had, like, wooden teeth and shit. Wooden teeth. Because they'd get their teeth bashed in in the Wild West. I didn't know if you could do that. So I was doing it. And I'm like, I probably shouldn't be eating this. You were just fucking swallowing sulfur? I only did it, like, twice. And I was like, this is I'm not good. Did you get any? I've always, like, tried to, like, light a match on a table or, like, snap and light a match. Neither have worked for me. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing too crazy. But I've tried the, like, dramatic, like put like a line of like gasoline to a fire and like light something and then fucking drop it. <laughs> You've done that? Yeah, I've tried. At the lake, 100%. I've done that with gunpowder. Dude, my brothers and I, my brothers, Patty, Steve, and Brian, we would take fireworks at the lake house. Probably shouldn't tell this because I have children. Um, and we would open them up 
and take the gunpowder out. Yeah. And like fucking make like Tom and Jerry traps and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and then light it. Yeah, like I was Wiley Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad idea. Like I was Wiley Coyote. Yeah, it was not not smart at all. Oh man. How did I get my hands on gunpowder? It was like easy to get like recreational gunpowder? Like, recreational gunpowder. Fireworks. It was easy when we were kids to get our hands on them. I still have a bundle of um uh, bottle rockets from when we were kids. Bro, one time, me, Keith, and Thomas had like three bottle rockets. And we lit it and threw it in our own mailbox. And it exploded. I've never laughed that hard in my entire <laughs> life. Dude, we're rolling. What an idiot. Bro, I don't know why it was so fu- Sober. I don't know why it yeah, was so funny Yeah, you were like 13. Us. I hope you were sober. Dude, we, were, we just would light them and put them in our mailbox and run away and sit in the grass in our yard and watch them explode and die laughing. Yeah. I wonder if they remember that. You know what I was – I loved uh, smoke bombs. Yeah, we went through a big phase of that. Bro, and I remember there was one year – it was like my dad uh, had brought – I think it was like 2008. It was like late. He had brought us down – no, earlier maybe. Brought us down to Florida – and we drove past that store south of the border, which is like the big fireworks store basically off 95 in one of those states. And we bought like – looked like fucking Jurassic Park flares that big, but they were smoke bombs. And I threw a blue one at 48th Street Park. <laughs> Boy, was that fucking dumb. The whole park was just engulfed in smoke. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Oh it's nuts. God. Absolutely nuts. I remember I used to take them. And they would like start smoking, and you get like a, a color, like it was like red or blue. And you would write it on the ground. Or I'd write it on walls, like oh, I was like a. That was you. That was big dr- graffiti, Joe. Graffiti, Joe. Was yeah. this prime bubble letter, Joe? I'm not gonna. That was you. No. You literally got in trouble in second grade for doing that. I remember Miss Macchio screaming. You've always at you. had the fattest bubble letters that I've ever <laughs> seen someone write their name. Only in. one of us has gotten in trouble in school for writing the homework down in bubble letters and slowing up the entire class. She was so pissed at she you. She was pissed, but. Is because She's like, what do you think? We're all just going to wait around until you're done with your little bubble. And I was like, damn. Yeah, but you never got caught because you were fucking, you were the messiah of that school. The messiah. You what were protected. You, you were protected, bitch. You think Pambucas would let anything happen to you? You were his sweet boy. Your mom was the fucking, basically the president of the school. She was Tony Soprano. In exactly. School. I remember that shit. You break. But Mr. you're Pambucas. Yeah, and I left. And then whose mom became the fucking chieftain of that school? You left. I left too, <laughs> idiot. We graduated. Yeah, 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 it's true. Uh, heard the graduation song the other day. Still gets me. Which one? As we go. On. We didn't sing that. I know, but it makes me. The vitamin C song. Isn't that vitamin C? That's vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. What a stupid name for a band. We well, have. By the way, I believe it was Un Person. Don't think it was a band. Really? Think. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up as you read these ads. But we got some ads here. First ad that we got here is Liquid IV. There it is. All right. Uh, Liquid I was IV. You would pick it up. <laughs> The number one powered hydration brand in America uh, is now available in sugar-free. Uh, but yeah, Liquid IV is great. Love Liquid IV. I have a bunch of it. I have I have it coming out my ears. I actually have so much that I've given a lot of it away to my friends and family, and they uh, ask me for it all the time. Actually, last time I saw Keith, which was like a few days ago, he was like, do you have more Liquid IV? I was like, relax. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Liquid IV, they're hydration packets. So they come in little packets. You open it up. You put it in like 16 ounces of water. And you stir it up. They have great flavors, and they have all these nutrients in them. They have um, uh, vitamins and nutrients. Um, they have three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. Um, they have eight vitamins, like B12, B whatever. You know, all these, all the Bs are in there. Uh, but yeah, it's great. And it also um, hydrates you quicker than a glass of water would, uh, because they have CTT, which is cellular something technology. Uh, it's great. Uh, the, my favorite flavor is probably, I'm going to say watermelon, but I kind of like the pina colada too. I also really and I've been, I've been dabbling. messing with the grape. Oh, I was dabbling in strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Forget about yeah, it. That's, one. that one's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so anyway, now they're available and sugar-free, uh, and you can get them, uh, at nationwide at Costco. Uh, or get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT, which I recommend. Liquidiv.com, use the code BASEMENT, and you'll get 20% off anything you order when you use the promo code BASEMENT. Okay, so go to liquidiv.com. You know what I'm saying? Get those, get that in there. There's no artificial sweeteners, zero sugar with a proprietary amino acid, a glucose blend, or whatever that means, for a sweet taste with the uh, calorie 
without the calories or the raised blood glucose levels you get from sugar. So yeah, go check them out. It is great. Uh, love liquid IV. Uh, next here we have Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is the easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options, which is actually very nice if you're someone like me. I am very indecisive, especially when it comes to clothes. I don't like going out to shop. I don't know why. I only leave that for when I'm leaving for vacation. It's the day before and I'm like, damn it, I need some pants. So then I go on and then I go to a store. But <clears throat> you can do all this online. It's basically like having your own personal stylist. You fill out their style quiz and um, they'll figure out like, you know, what you like to wear, certain patterns, certain fits, or you know, what your sizes are. Uh, they have sizes available from extra small to 3XL. Um, so they'll find the perfect fit just for you. It's a thousand brands and styles you know and love. Um, so it's not just like random stuff. It's actually brands that you know. And they'll pick stuff out for you and send it to you. Uh, and right now, Stitch Fix is offering our listeners $20 off of their first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today. Um, but yeah, go check them out. It's a really cool way to uh, also sort of surprise yourself. It's like every month is Christmas. You know, a box shows up with new clothes. It's very nice. Again, that is stitchfix.com slash basement. So enjoy, folks. And while you're enjoying all those things, you can also go enjoy more of us. Patreon.com slash the basement yard, folks. Every single week I tell you about it. Every single week. It's like a comforting little blanket of joy when I tell you about it because that's really what you get. You get more of us and you get us sooner. So uh, Patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. Well, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. You hear us talk about things way before anybody else. And by way, I mean seven days. And then that second tier, oh, man, that's where you get those weekly exclusive, XXX exclusive videos <laughs> every single Friday morning for just our patrons, just you folks for that second tier. So check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Listen, we are sisters. We stand together. We are one big family, yet we don't look the same, but we are a part of a family over at Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you for getting us to 22,000. We're creeping. We're crawling. We're moving on up. We're going to be doing our brunch episode soon, which you don't want to miss because your boys plus mimmies plus bloodies, maybe, plus bellies, plus a little bit of food, grub, how you doing? That's an unbeatable, unbeatable collaboration there. So patreon.com slash basement yard. Go check it out. Thank you to all of our patrons. We look forward to the new ones that are coming. I want to embrace our love. <laughs> the look you just gave me. How much do you hate me during that segment? Oh, my God. Oh, the whole, uh, literally the whole time. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah, but was that Cheetah Girls? You can't give it away for them, Joey. Come yeah, on. It I was mean, Cheetah come Girls. Come on, it was. Because we are sisters. We stand together. What song is that? Because we, uh, it's Cheetah Girls, Cheetah Sisters, Joe. Oh, Cheetah Sisters. Cheetah Girls. It's like their titular song. What's the, what's the, what's the song that I know? What's the, what's their other one? Why do I know? I know a Cheetah Girls song. Um, I, that's the one that I know. I know there are other ones because they had two movies that were popular as fucking Disney Channel. Who original. are the Cheetah Girls? Raven Simone. I know that. And then 3LW. Three Little Women. Well, well, yes, that was the, their name, but it was like Adriana Bailon. Oh, yeah. The other one, it was like Kira. Uh, now I have to look this up. I you, have you, oh, right. you don't. That's the thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you remember how big of an event those Disney Channel original movies were back in the day? Dude, you remember the one where the dude couldn't hit a free throw or whatever? No, you, you always remember the sports one because you're a freak. First of all... The, it was Joey would watch it and he'd be like, I can hit a free throw. No, Get yeah, me idiot. in the fucking video. But it was called um, Luck of the Irish. Oh, when he turns into a leprechaun. Yes. Yeah, I but remember But then he that was one. like good at basketball. All of a sudden he wasn't good at basketball. He had bad luck. But then he had, then there, then the, he had the, found a coin or something. Then there was the one, yeah, he found a coin. He turns him into a leprechaun with that little Irish freak. You know who I'm talking about. No. There's an old Irish guy who was a freak. Oh, I did. Wait, do I? I don't know if he's a freak. If I, forgive me if he is, but... Uh, then there was the one where the sisters in the WNBA, the blonde, tall, fucking blonde girls in the WNBA. That one was fire. Eddie's Million Dollar Cookoff. Sean, Johnny Tsunami. Johnny know. Tsunami. <laughs> Xenon. Who's it? Oh, what? Xenon was actually one of the Easter eggs I put in a past week's episode. What? What was the? I remember this vividly and being like, "That is such a good idea," but it's like some kid, and he had a house that was like basically Alexa. I think it was called. Smart house. Oh, is that? Yeah. I think it was. And, it, and he throws a party and it's like, I got to clean up. And then everything just falls into the floor. And uh, the house is clean. Yeah, the mom is like, coming home and it's just like, Smart house, help me. He's like, I got you. Or yeah. however the smart house spoke. I don't remember. Bro, Halloween Town. Yep. Tried to throw it on for the kids last year. Kind of scared them a little bit. Really? There's some stuff in there that's a little freaky. Did you see the newest one? 
I don't know. Oh, wait, no. What are you what, talking what about? What am I thinking of? Je- oh. Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, you're thinking of Hocus Pocus. Bang. Have I seen the second one? On fucking release day, bitch. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you best fucking believe I watched that. It was all right. From Bette Midler. I've said this and with zero... Bette Midler. Zero hyperbole. The first Hocus Pocus, Bette Midler as uh, uh, something Sanderson. I forget her first name. One of the Sanderson sisters. Yes. One of the best performances I've ever seen in a movie ever. What? Bro, um, go watch that movie really? again. Bro, go watch that movie again. This is again. coming from King Movie. King King Movie Boy. Yeah. Personal favorite. Like, she is just, she just fucking chews up the, the scenery. Damn. That you, first movie. Do you like Bette Midler? But do you like her, like her? I kind of guess I do. <laughs> so I guess I'll put a picture of her on the last page. P6. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Bette Midler. She, Bette Midler, P6. Bette oh. Midler, Bette Midler. Bro, that first Hocus Pocus. I'm going to get you a fucking birthday gift. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but the six page from the back, I'm going to tape something. Yeah, well, anything to get me a gift. I <laughs> would say that first Hocus Pocus has such a fucking stranglehold on my childhood. It didn't on mine. Oh. The first time I saw Sarah Jessica Parker in that movie, I was like. You wanted it. As a little boy, I was just like. She was doing stuff in the new one, too. I was like. Hello, Sarah not Jessica. Near, not nearly. I know, but still. Back then when she's like talking, they're all talking about like fucking making fun of this kid because he's dying a virgin and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. And they just want to like. S- the girl, the little, the girl's just like, wait, you're a virgin? It's like, bro, they're fucking 13. Like, yeah. Chill out. Yeah. You're an old witch. Yeah. Slut. And then, well, <laughs> take, take, it, take it easy, Joe. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker's running around. She's like, boys. Yeah. And then the bus driver is like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be down with. Him hooking up with kids. There's some stuff in that movie. Go watch it. Joey. I don't haven't haven't Go. seen it in so long. Bro, they get on the bus and the bus driver opens up and he's like, "Hubba hubba, who are these fucking you know horny?" Hubba hubba for the Sanderson sisters. Hubba hubba was the original cat call. Yes. <laughs> Which uh, that is if hubba someone, hubba, I'd be offended. I'd be like, "That's gum." I That's would, hubba bubba. Uh, close enough, Joey. But they're like. He's like, oh, what do I got to do to hang out with you ladies? And they're like, children. And he's like, oh, I'm into anything. He doesn't say that. Watch the movie. Watch it. And he's an old man. He's like, he's easily in his like late 40s, early 50s. But you know how people back then were like, they looked like they were fucking 80, but they were like 25? Yeah, that was everyone in all those movies. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, Joey, there is a story that we have been fucking doing some, you know, Kenny Ortega High School Musical tiptoeing dancing around here. What the fuck is that? Directed the original Hocus Pocus, then he directed the High School Musical movies. Never mind. <laughs> there is literally our nightmare living out in the real world right now. Yeah. Um, the submarine. The submarine. We're gonna try to not be too offensive. Let's start this. here. I cannot physically. We're imagine. sorry. We're yeah. Well, yes. I fi- this is legitimately my personal nightmare on so many levels. Yeah. B- but they're stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Scary as shit. As of recording, my they ran out of oxygen. Yes. Might be big old fat old dead. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like a father on there with his son. No. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I don't want to see their faces. You know what? I bro, it's 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 legitimately heartbreaking and I feel for their families. We got a job to do here, Joe. I know. We have a job to do. Yeah. This is the most insane story that could have come out. First of all, when I saw everything was like, I was like, I didn't even know what was going on really. And then all of a sudden, someone's like submarine, and they went down, but now they can't find it. I'm like, it's a submarine. You know, I don't even think about the fact that like you could run out of oxygen, bro. They compared it to the size of a fucking minivan. When I saw the pictures the of pictures it, pictures inside, I was like, that's not a submarine. I don't get claustrophobia. Did right then. Yes, because a submarine. I think of fucking the Widowmaker. There's computers. Then there, there, there's people aggressively hitting buttons. Yeah, there's George Clooney. And they're not George Clooney. They're Alex Trebek. No, no. he's the what's game George show host. Alex? What's his name? <laughs> George. I don't know who you're talking about. Red October. Um, you mean uh George? No, <laughs> Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. And then fucking no, it's not Alec Sir, Baldwin. Sir Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Who's George? <laughs> George Clooney. I said Sean Connery. There's some stuff there. If you remember some of those old big days. stuff. <laughs> but anyway, he oh, was he, dead. But every time I think of submarine, I think Sean Connery. Well, he's back, and there's always that. Like, Damn it. Boop. 
Yeah, there's Boop. that. There's that. And you can Boop. like see a shark coming from a mile Yeah, it's away. like a big red dot, and they're like, hold, because it's a torpedo. Yeah. But this is like, they're in a trunk of a van. Bro, I saw those pictures, and I would like, holy shit. Nah. Like my, outside of the insane amount of details behind the story, this was, they were, they had to travel to like, it's like two miles below the ocean. I'm all set. No. 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 It's like 6,000 pounds of pressure. Like you stick your finger out the window, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to go like that. It's going to fucking burst. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it's, this is my personal fucking nightmare. Why is water so strong? It's heavy. I know, but Why? Because it's water. I know, but like, you know? The molecules. Are, there's a, like, there is a it. scientific answer. I know there is, but I'm saying I dive into a pool. Yes. At the top. Why can't the water just be like that? It'd be so much nicer. No, but the farther down you go, you have the weight of the water weighing you down I on know, top of you, yeah, bitch. Yeah, but isn't it sort of displaced? Like, it's, it's a vast... Like, the ocean is vast. No, that's heavy, dude. I know, but like... You know how heavy the water is? I know, but I'm saying, if I put a, a fucking bowling ball on your head, right? Yes. It's like a 20-pound bowling ball. I put it on your head. Yes. You're like, you can feel that. Of course. But if I make it a, a long thing that's 20 pounds, it feels different because it's displaced. Yes. Now put 400 billion water fucking, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, bowling balls The ocean's balls on huge. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's all that... On top of you. That's fair. That's it's, fair. It's what you're nuts. saying makes sense. But it should be like Jello. Water should be like Jello. I think there's pressure in Jello, Joey. I think if you were to go to the bottom of a vat of Jello, it would I'd be. I feel it. Yeah, of course, because there's all that Jello on top of you. I doubt that. I don't. I, don't, I feel like if I was in a vat of Jello, I'd eat your way out. Duh. Well, we no, that. I would suffocate. Of course, as you would in water. Yeah, but not if I had a big snorkel. Yes, if you were in like those cartoons where they grab that like fucking that reed in all the swamps, and that you've never seen those cartoons where it's like in a they're in a swamp and they grab a reed. What is a reed? It's like a long like grassy like hollowed out stick. Oh yeah, and they, they fucking yeah yeah. They breathe through that the whole time. Then yeah. you're good. But if you don't got a reed or a snorkel, I know it's kind of crazy. You're dead, dude. But anyway, this fucking submarine. It's like, it's terrifying. I mean. They're running out. Can you imagine that sitting there in a small pod? You're running out of oxygen. You're running out of oxygen. It's pitch black. Yeah. It's dripping water because of condensation. Yeah. It smells like you have to shit in there. Shit, piss, and throw up. Oh my god. Keith sent this to me this and, morning. And the impending doom. The air is thick because you're breathing in all of your own fucking carbon dioxide or water monoxide, whatever you give off. Yeah. It's. It's oh, terrifying. It's, and Keith sent me this uh, tweet. It said, even if you were conservatively uh, calculating one poop per day per person, that's 20 poops since Sunday. Now, an average human poop weighs around a fourth pound to a pound. Let's average it at half a pound. There's 10 pounds of poop on a 21-foot vessel that's sealed right now. You okay over there? I re- forgot the number. 10 pounds of human shit. And that's not including throw up. If they're even throwing up because they're not eating. Yeah. I, piss. Tons of piss, probably. A- a- and then, uh, bro, it, it is a fucking absolute it's a nightmare. Torture. It's like torture. But this fucking guy, they <laughs> told him. First of all, we know. Do you want to see the Titanic? Whoa. Close your eyes. Watch the movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. James like, Cameron did it. He did it. James did Cameron it. did it, so we didn't have to. We saw it. That's the cross that James Cameron bared yeah. for us normie folks. Also, he went down there, you know. He, like, bro, they said that he'd spent more time at the wreckage than, like, the people building the fucking ship. He spent, like, thousands of hours. That's insane. Guess what? I just saw a, a thing. Who said it? Who was that actor? Whatever. Someone. Uh, said that Bill Paxton was down there with him mm-hmm. and they like came up and he's like everyone on board was like freaking out because it was 9-11. Isn't that crazy? Like imagine you're down like at the Titanic. Wow, that's crazy. Insane human tragedy. Nothing can top that. Hey guys, you might, you might want to be on land for this one. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Dude, and then the guy is a billionaire. They didn't – so I don't know if you heard this. They said that 
they had fucking like done like diagnostics on the ship, which was controlled by a fucking like cheap video game controller. Yeah, like a GameCube like controller. A, like a Mad Cat's fucking PlayStation 2 controller that you'd give to your piece of shit brother. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know if that you is. You know what I'm okay. saying? When you'd play a two-player game and you'd be like, yeah, take that fat giant controller that, that the buttons are the size of a P. Yeah. That. And they they checked his ship and they were like, by the way, which is named Titan. Ironic. They checked him. They were like, yo, this ain't, this ain't good. Don't go. And he was just like, I'm a billionaire. What's going to happen to me? They... Also, I think like the the update right now uh, is that they found like I think they're out they're calculating that they're out of oxygen, and uh, they found some like debris near the wreckage. So I mean, we hope they're alive, but if they died, I hope that the thing just fucking exploded. Oh yeah, because I hope it was the quick. fucking torture is. Gonna I be hope horrible. it was quick. I mean, the reality is like they had been down there for days, and the impending doom is. Like, I, it literally was making my hair, like, the hairs on my arm stand up when I was thinking about it. But Titanic, still still, still taking, you know, the rich out 100-something years later. Are you okay? Because I know you and this billionaire guy were boys. You, you guys went to the same bathhouse or whatever. You billionaires really share. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, I will never get into a sub. Yeah, it ain't like going to happen to me. Because guess who ain't never going? Yeah, I'm never getting on a boat that where I can't see land. So that ain't happening. Oh, you're not going on a cruise? Are you I, fucking crazy? I guess this is a great, this is a full circle. I would never in my life think about going on a cruise. Damn, this is going to hurt the fucking, the sea, the sea, the sea exploration. You know, I can't business. believe people, dude, like there's apparently people get sick on cruises all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. Like things just rip through people there. Yeah. And then if you die, you got to be like in the boat. If you, like, die on the boat, they just put you in, like, a freezer in the bottom of the boat. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Who told us that recently? Someone did, and I don't it remember. Was like a, there's, like a, like, a morgue on a boat or something. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember. Absolutely insane oh. story. I can't, I can't. So then, on top of all this, the billionaire, his fucking ste- son or stepson. Stepson. Was like, all right, well. I'm going to go to a Blink-182 concert. All the small things is playing in Bro, my neighborhood. Bro, of course. Like, what is going to help you forget about your stepdad literally any minute his death being announced to the world is hearing fucking Fat Lip? That's some 41, Frank. It's, oh. It's, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fat Lip. Name and numbers. You know, tomato, tomato. It's some 41, Blink-182. It's different. Good you Charlotte. Know? You know, all of them are the same to me. I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. Well, okay. Fair. But... Uh, yeah, he the went to offspring. A, you remember them? I do remember the offspring. Uh, but yeah. And then alien ant it, farm. Stop thinking of things. <laughs> um, <laughs> I also think that he, uh, he was like trying to slide into DMS of yeah, us. He was only using fans this. models. But honestly though, you billionaires have the same mentality. Stop putting me in this, this like go-getter mentality of being like, I'm going to use this opportunity to work on I'm myself. I'm going to monetize this. Pull m- I've seen so many obviously insensitive tweets and TikToks just being like, you know how this billionaire could get out of this if they just pull themselves up by their bootstraps? And, and oh, man. I was like, oh, God. That's fucked up. Uh, and then I saw the one doing the, I think you should leave, the, the driving crooner. <laughs> it's like when someone pulls up next to the submarine, it's like... They're trying to make it look fake. Yeah. Uh, he goes, he's like sliding into her DM. And now he's beefing with fucking Bronx's own Cardi B. He's beefing with Cardi B. Yeah. Cause she was just like, why are you out? Like stay home and be fucking wait till you get the call. And yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm not going to do that. And how would call- you like, how do you feel about it? You think it's weird that he went to a concert? A, a little bit. If I'm being <laughs> honest. It's- it's not. Here's the thing. I'm not judging him for it, but like I, I feel like I am. I wouldn't. People deal with grief and loss and yeah. stress differently, right? You know, very differently. Sure. If he wants to get it off his mind, go ahead. But you're just gonna remember the whole thing. Like you're not gonna. You're not gonna forget. Well, you're not gonna be at a Blink 182 concert and be like, I have forgotten everything going on in my life outside of this song right here. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> It's I don't not, know about that. It's not Creed. That'd be different. No, actually, Creed would be worse. You know, 
Hold me now. All right, can, can you take me higher? Can you take me higher? <laughs> they're probably singing that. In the take fucking, my stepdad higher. <laughs> they're taking. They're singing that in the fucking sub right now. Maybe fucking you know five thousand or ten thousand feet ain't so far down. So far down. Uh, we do have sponsors uh, for. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna be happy. Uh, we have Squarespace. Squarespace is a site that you can go on and you can build your website through this platform. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, I love Squarespace. I've built every single website that I've ever built by myself with uh, Squarespace, with the exception of one where I used a different platform. It was it took me like three months to do, and it was just insanely complicated. Most of that time I spent trying to figure out like how to even work it. But they make it very easy to build websites. They have uh, templates that you can use to make your website beautiful. All you have to do is switch out the pictures and the fonts and write the things that you want on there. It's amazing. So whether you have like products or, you know, content you create or whatever it is and you want to promote that, I mean, you're going to need a website or if you have an e-commerce business or something like that, you can do this as well. Um, you know, you would, you should use Squarespace. I think everyone I know uses Squarespace as well. So you can head to squarespace.com slash basement uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, again, that is squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, yeah, so go out there and go get it, folks. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. And lastly here, uh, we do have HelloFresh. HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You just go on their website, you pick from their uh, their menu, they have a ton of different um, recipes to choose from. Uh, like I said, seasonal recipes. And you pick the ones that you want, they show up at your door in a box, and it's all pre-portioned and refrigerated and for the things that need to be refrigerated. And uh, then they have a, a, like a recipe. You follow a recipe, you make it, and then you can keep that, and you can you know, keep making it, or you, know, you just keep using HelloFresh. It is great. Uh, it, you also can add things to your cart, like little things that you would need from like a grocery store or something like that. And the best part about this is that it's more affordable than a grocery store, definitely more affordable than going out, uh, you know, getting takeout or something or getting something delivered. Now with the, the tip, the delivery charge, the, everything is up charged on, on the menu anyway. So it is not only, uh, you know, convenient, but you are saving money as well. Uh, but yeah, so you can go to HelloFresh.com slash Basement50 and use the code Basement50 for 50% off plus free shipping. 50% off, folks. Uh, HelloFresh.com slash Basement50 and use the code Basement50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Uh, they are America's number one meal kit. So go check them out. Um, they have a lot of different things. They have calorie smart, protein smart, uh, vegan dinners to choose from, a bunch of different stuff. Um, so yeah. Go check them out. Again, that is HelloFresh.com slash Basement50. Use the code Basement50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Um, I can't get over yeah. this fucking submarine story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, let's, let's, peel, let's peel it all back real quick. Why the fuck would anyone want to go down there? I'm not getting on a submarine. I'm not getting. Bro, put a gun to my head and say, you need to go see the Titanic. You know what I'll do? Take the gun from you, pull the trigger myself. Yeah. I'm not fucking going down. What if it was like a fucking, this is a week after the government was just like, oh yeah, no, aliens are there. They're not evil. Don't worry about it. You're, you're good. 
what if we're going down there and like Cloverfield style, waking up some shit? I believe that. That you, there's something down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, of course there is. Like, there's parts of the ocean we can't get to or we haven't explored or whatever. Like, you don't think there's a big, like, fucking weird megalodon Godzilla type of shit? No, I don't want to know about this shit. Bro, of course they're there. And then there's, there. like, hollow earth theories where, like, it could get from fucking, like, you know, Timbuktu to, like, Myanmar in, like, a minute because it travels through the hollow earth. Oh my god. You've never heard about this shit? Wait, oh, there's a hole in the center? There's like, we're on like the crust or the mantle, like the outer layer. Yeah, yeah. And then underneath, like at the depths of the ocean, there's like portals that bring you into the hollow earth, which is like another self sustaining, like fucking biome of life and shit. Dude, what the fuck? You're <laughs> blowing my horse. Bro, what? What am I I'm saying? Not doing, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> blowing my horse. I've been blowing my doors off. Is what I wanted. To I say. thought you were gonna say blowing your back out, which can't do that yet. I would Not yet. <laughs> I would like why go down there? Because like you're gonna see something that you don't want to see. It's dude. so dark, dude. I think there was. You know what they should do? Crack a, f- a few glow sticks and like light it up a little bit. I'm, I'm maybe maybe they're doing that, but then what if, uh, bro? It's gonna be like someone. Oh man. I'm not. I'm gonna butcher who it was, but someone had lived under sea in like one of those like deep sea exploration. Fucking Ariel. She's a princess. Yes, Jay. You think mermaids are real? I hope not. Why? You heard the like, m- like theorized stories of mermaids. No. The sirens and the siren songs and shit like that. No. It's theorized that mermaids have this thing called the siren gaze or songs or something like that. The gaze, not the gaze. Siren gaze. There's gay mermaids. Of course, there's gay mermaids. There's gay everything. That's true. And they can sing. They have this song that they sing. Did you watch Black Panther: Wakanda Forever? Yeah. Remember how? Oh yeah. The, uh, they're like ah uh, ah, uh, and it fucking hypnotizes people. To like walk off the water into the depths where they're fucking eaten and shit. So what you're saying is that a mermaid is gonna sing some fire shit. They'll just be gonna, like, "Fucking hold me now," and I'll jump off. And, a and boat. you'll be like, and you fucking tumble oh. to your doom where they take you and they eat me and they eat you and they you're fucking done. That's kind of dope, yeah, though. I, that, it, honestly, I would like to be eaten by a bunch of mermaids. That's kind of hot. No, underwater. They drown you first. Drowning, that's not cool. Well, if I have goggles on, if I can watch. Joey, goggles aren't going to stop you from being drowned. I know, I can watch. Oh, watch yourself being drowned? At least. That's not fun. Well, at least for a second I'll know that mermaids exist. That'd be cool. Yeah, who are you going to tell? Fucking, or... Grandma. Or, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell my grandma. Oh, grandma, grandma, my grandma, grandma, grandma. Yeah, I feel like God wouldn't even believe that. But like, yo, I was eaten by mermaids. He's like, what? No, he'd be like, um... Fucking, yeah, I know. I watched. I was there. That's true. I, I am always with you. He'd be, he be there. Yeah, he'd be, he be there. Is, is that not, what it is? Nope. No, it's not one of the Ten Commandments. Commandments? What is it? Com- commandments. Okay. It's not commandments. Sorry, excuse me. I commend me. you on dying by mermaid. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, uh, bro, this is, like, I can't, this is a legitimate horror movie. Yeah, it is. This is a, and, like, the fucking guy is just, like, knocking. Oh, stop. And they're, like, knocking S.O.S., and then they're gonna fucking they're gonna wake something up. <laughs> Imagine? No. Imagine this. If they're doing those knocks, it wakes up some fucking water giant thing. And he goes, What the fuck is this thing? And he picks it up and he stands up out of the Pacific or whatever. Where are they? <laughs> Tosses it like that fucking thing that pool toy you used to have in here. Yeah, and he your house. throws it into like Russia or something. Oh, well, you could have thrown it anywhere, Joey. Why Russia? I just, I figured that's you're, so far from the water. You're thinking of the next travel destination you want to go to? I <laughs> don't know. Have you ever been, like, driving on a highway, and then you just say to yourself, like, what if? All the time. What if you just see <laughs> something just on the horizon, just stand up, just, like, fucking, like, yeah. yeah like, stretches, like, and then just starts taking out traffic. You know what I mean? Or I've thought about when I drive and I see mountains, I go, what if a wave just crashed over these dude, things? Dude, dude. And just wiped away all these cars. Oh, my God. What do would you, I do? Die. Yeah. I want to see a bit, but I want to see two big things fight. 
Like, go, like, uh, go. Did you ever watch Gorilla? Uh, Gorilla. Go, Gorilla. King Kong. God. Godzilla, Godzilla and God. King Kong. What the fuck did you that? watch the the most recent one? But they fight. I want to see a fight like that. Did you watch the most recent no. one? No. They, they 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 explore Hollow Earth stuff. Oh, I do. See, I did see that. Yeah. And it's like yeah, but it's like a little paradise. Is it? There's fucking monsters ready to eat your fucking cock. I mean, there's there's like sun. Yeah. I don't know how that works. I don't. That there's that, a sun a, in the Hollow Earth. Uh, it, oh, wow. It, it could be from our core. A uh, oh, core sun. <laughs> To you there. What the fuck? I was gonna say uh, hollow. Okay. How much time we got? Because I know where we. We're good, bro. A little oh, bit. Sweet. Yeah, we're All fine, right, baby. I can't stop talking about Hollow I, Earth. I, it's, that would be cool, though. I would like to go through a port. No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't like to go through. I would a portal. not. No, no, no. I. What I would like is if you went through a portal and you could still talk and be like, "It's okay," and then I would come. Oh, like I'm just like, yo, there's fucking. I'm on the ground. Come out. Yeah, and I'd be like, and then okay. you jump through. Nah, dude. I would be like, yo, can you get back? Because I need to be able to get out if I get too scared. Well, then you come back, you talk about it, the government puts fucking three in the back of your head, or yeah. you're just thrown in an insane asylum. That's true. But it'd be cool. Bro, there was a TikTok recently of some guy in the middle of the ocean on like a, on like a fishing vessel or something, and he's like, yo, shut up, listen. And he said he hears the... I'm sure it's fake, but like you hear the mermaid, like the sirens singing... And they're like, come, come be with us, join us, jump. Which like they can't speak English. Let's, let's say it like maybe, that. Maybe, maybe. Wow, how? You think they're fucking down there, just like? Maybe that's that. Though, what those are are the people that they've made walk the plank, and, and they then... just turned into fish. <laughs> Watch this. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no, it isn't. Sorry for having fun. You're and not I'm having fun. Not you're being up, imaginative. You're not being imaginative, you dumb bitch. You're being a fucking idiot. How can they be half people? Explain that, you bitch. How, how are there a fucking half fish, half, you know, walking on, you know, frogs and shit like that? Like, how is there that? Hey, there isn't. Yes, there is. Tadpoles, bitch. Tadpoles. Explain I would, tadpoles. I swear to God, as I was saying that, I was thinking of tadpoles. You were thinking of tadpoles. Well, it's like they kind of have feet. You didn't think hard enough. No, they start off with a fucking... You know, like but, tails. With butts, yeah. With, not butts. With no, tails. I mean like... With, yeah. They swim, and then they get feet, and they're just like... In like a day. They're like, yo, a week ago, I was swimming. Now, walking. Watch where I am in another week. Jumping. Yeah. So, okay. So, it's like a... What about minotaurs? Can't be. We would have seen them. We've discovered all Bro, of the Bro, Bigfoot. Earth. Bro, you think Bigfoot's real? It's like, it's not Bigfoot. It is... The, the Bigfoot is like a species. It's a Sasquatch. Okay. I don't think it's real, dude. We would have found them, bro. It, we, found, we found everything on land. People, when I say people, I mean my father yeah. believes. Oh, you, you don't realize that. how little credit you've given the <laughs> story. On. Credibility. Hold on. No, no, no. I talked to a guy in OPL also that like is like he like does this for a living. Yeah? Yeah. Just saying. Okay. But they said they, they, they use portals. Watch this. No. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't. Well, you believe in a hollow earth? I don't believe you can play pretend. I don't believe in a hollow world. I am the least like conspiracy theory. Like I will believe who's it. conspiracy. I'm talking about a fucking big ass that, that, like, that, 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 monkey that, man. That's or that, whatever that, they that's are. That's what I'm saying. Like their hollow earth is like a conspiracy that like the governments have found ways to get to it. And they use it to like fucking like, you know, be lizard people and like eat, you know, children at pizza places in DC and shit like that. I'm uh. telling you. How could you eat kids at a pizza place? There's pizza right there. <laughs> How could you eat the children? This fucking pepperoni right Bro, here, dude. You put a fresh fucking cheese pie in front of me. Forget about anything. I don't care the blood of the youth. I'm going right for that. I am too, dude. Because guess what? Oregano, grated cheese, red pepper, red pepper, flakes. pepper flakes. Yeah. I don't need. And maybe some extra Parmesan cheese. Too. I just said that, you stupid idiot. Oh, shit. Listen for once. <laughs> fucking. Relax. No. You're going crazy now. I'm a little. I'm getting pizza right after this. You have to. <laughs> You absolutely have to, and I know I know what else you're gonna do. You're gonna look up Hollow Earth stuff. Yeah, I have to. I would, yeah. You know what they say that about Antarctica? It's like the end of the Earth. The fucking uh, oh, you're a flat earther now. No, no, no. But flat earth. We talked to a flat earther. No, I know. Also. And he, that's what they said. That's when they lost me. He also said that the sky is like an LED screen or something. I was like, cool. Birds aren't but, real. All that. That one I actually believe. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I mean, dude, I could definitely get my hands on a bird and like prove that they're real. How easy is that? Rip open a bird, Frank. Go get a bird, Joey. It's not hard to kill a bird. You could rip a bird's head off. 
And not that I've done it. Well, it sounds like No, it. Mike Tyson told a story about how he had pigeons, and some dude grabbed it, and he's like, yo, he snapped his fucking neck off. It's like, how hard is that? The kid was like 16 that did too. I am a, I am a, 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 a companion, a friend of animals, except for birds. <laughs> what about birds of prey? Cool. Yeah. Not for me, though. There are birds of prey that'll fuck you up. Anything with wings would probably beat me up. No. I'm too, like, There's no out. bird alive right now that would win in a fight versus me. Not a single one, Joey. Ostrich. Pretty sure I can kill an ostrich. Grab the head. You have, you've gained control. Grab the head? Joey, yeah, grab the fucking neck. The neck is basically like a pole to grab it. Frankie. You know how much space they have to choke? If you grab an ostrich by its head, first of all, you're not going to get near it because you will be, say it with me, kicked in the chest. <laughs> uh, yes. Do they have the force and ability to kick me in the chest? Of sure. like a horse. Sure. Do they have that ability? They have so much prime real estate for just good old fashioned choking. You think you can kill a giraffe too? I do. I'm not even going to talk to you. I t I, uh, we've talked about this before. I know it's a big animal. I know it. And I know it would probably... I just saw a giraffe. I know it would probably hurt me. But look at all that fucking real estate they have for just classic American choking. Frank, <laughs> classic American choking. You can't get your hands around a giraffe's neck. Are you stupid? Oh. I could do that. They won't even feel I'll flex you, like fucking Lex Luger, baby. Oh, that'll do it. Your huge Hulk Hogan arms. Have you seen giraffes fight? No. They whip their fucking necks at each other. Okay. So if you grab hold of this All I thing, need is one sword, and that thing is going fucking nighttime. Yeah, absolutely. One sword? You ever seen Hercules? When that fucking, the big ass fucking- You're not Hercules! No, but the Hydra falls at him, and he just fucking- Frankie, you're not going to get us- What is this? <laughs> All I need is one sword. Bro, me and- Maybe a, if you had a lightsaber. Me and a sword versus a giraffe- it's a problem for that giraffe. Just want to reiterate, I'm a friend of animals. I love yeah, them all. Yeah, no, I, it's a problem for the giraffe because he's going to have to clean up all that fucking blood. I'm a friend of animals, Joey. If you grab a giraffe's neck and it whips, you will end up in China. It will just throw you all the way there. You've really been wanting to go to China lately. What's that all about? <laughs> I no. no, listen, I understand that they're big and powerful, but they have a fucking flaw. Your boy God... Fucked up by making their, their necks so long. Because they made all that. That's just, that's a target. Any animal sees that, they're like, oh, that's, that's the weak spot. You know when you're playing video games and the fucking big monster turns around and has a big red ass and it's like, oh, just shoot that. That's the weak spot. <laughs> that's what these fucking giraffes have big giant red asses in the form of their necks. Frankie, have you ever... Seriously. Yeah. Because the animal kingdom is ruthless. They vast. kill each they kill vast. Vast and ruthless. Okay. Well they, they kill each other and whatever, blah, blah blah. Have you ever heard of a giraffe ever being choked? <laughs> no, because there are no animals that have the intellect that humans do to do it. Got it. Put a uh, 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 uh. put a fucking gorilla Versus a giraffe. Guarantee that gorilla is going to be like, oh, look at that weak spot right there. It doesn't take a fucking genius to see it has, you know, 13 and a half feet of just prime choking location. I don't even know what we're arguing about. And, the, and the gorilla could choke with its feet and its hands. That's double choke. <laughs> that's double choke. Come on. Yeah, it's exactly what it's going to do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm a, you know me, I'm a big gorilla guy. I know, and I'm shocked. Like, if all the animals fought at the same time, I think that, eh. Uh, we've already discussed this. The top three would be, like, lion, tiger, bear. Lion or tiger, interchangeably. Bear. And Different animals. I say tiger. They're big fuckers. So are lions, you fucking... I think tigers are bigger. I don't know. That's a good question. And also, saber-toothed tigers. Mm -hmm. Extinct. Yeah, but we can clone them. Can we? I hope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news here. Well, too. what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, but anyway, I think we could... We could uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, where can they find you, Francis? Uh, here on level ground. Yes. Above sea level. Yes. How high above sea level? Up for debate. 
but F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all the forms of social media. And then go check out patreon.com slash the basement yard, folks. That brunch episode coming soon. Yes, and you guys go follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at the basement yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, sorry. <laughs>